Support Wrestle Talk. Follow us on Twitter. Hello and welcome to the Wrestle Talk News. I'm Ollie Davis, and they finally let me change my shirt. Today, the equally awesome white text on black background version. And for all those who've asked, Wrestle Talk shirts are now available in 3XL. So click the I above my head or link down below to order your support Wrestle Talk T-shirt today. The main event of this week's Raw saw the real top star of WWE's women women's division, Stephanie McMahon, command and part for baby faces and heels like a wrestling Moses to announce the first ever women's Royal Rumble match for January. Which if WWE's 2017 track record is anything to go by, where Triple H beat both Raw and Smackdown at Survivor Series, Stephanie McMahon herself will probably win. Well that or a returning James Ellsworth will. Backstage talk of a women's Royal Rumble match was first reported on over the summer by the Wrestling Observer. But in late November they wrote, Nobody has been talking about a women's rumble as if it's been green lit. And Pro Wrestling Sheet claimed the idea was dropped in favour of the first ever women's elimination chamber match in February. It seems this is either because the rumble decision was only made late in the day, or that WWE went into lockdown over the plans, with only key people knowing about the announcement on the day of the show. Pro Wrestling Sheet are reporting that only a handful of people were in the know and most on the production team were kayfabed up until the announcement went down, which was obviously done to keep the news from leaking. And it wasn't just the backstage staff who weren't in on the announcement. The women's division had no idea either. It appears Stephanie's Women's Royal Rumble reveal was performed as a shoot, with the female wrestlers sharing the ring with her not knowing about the announcement until it was made, meaning their excited reactions afterwards were genuine, with Mickey James legitimately gobsmacked, Paige on the verge of tears, and Nia Jax hugging Alexa Bl- I, I'm sorry, I can't do this right now, I, just, I can't look at her. It's still unknown how many entrants the Women's Royal Rumble match will have. Wrestling News World claimed WWE were going back and forth on having 30 women, but it now appears that they will do 20 participants. The Dirty Sheets have however claim the opposite, writing that WWE originally planned to do a 20 women rumble, but they're now leaning towards making it a 30 person match. As there are only 22 active female wrestlers on the main roster, that leaves at least 8 spots open for surprise NXT call ups, ex WWE star returns, certain former UFC bantamweight champion debuts, and as previously mentioned, James Ellsworth. In an update to Dean Ambrose his qualm injury. Anything but the qualm! WWE are reporting he underwent successful surgery Tuesday night to repair a high-grade triceps tendon injury, where the full extent of the damage was revealed. He basically tore about 50% of the triceps tendon away from the bone. Ambrose is expected to be out for at least four months. It's time to honour all those who've pledged $25 a month or more to WrestleTalk's Patreon page. Click the eye above my head to find out how you can support Wrestle Talk and get your own shout out. So thank you, the mayor of Painesville, Dan, Paulie Dangerously German, Josh Honor Pole Palsy, Arnie K, the K stands for the coolest dude ever, John McBride of Frankenstein, The Craftsman, Blake Carpenter, Hard as Nails, Nick Schiff, Michael Name Your Price, and Notorious Little Dre. How exactly did WWE ruin the Women's Royal Rumble announcement? And which major wrestling stars are on their way to WWE? Click the videos to the left to find out. I've been Ollie Davis and that was wrestling.